Right, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't seen me before, I'm Charlie, and this is gonna be a full day of eating of my photo shoot prep diet of how I went from this to this in just nine weeks. So, let's get on with the day. Right, there's not a better start to the day than a white monster. I'm gonna crack this open, I'm gonna do about two hours of work, just a little work block to start the day off, do client check-ins, and then we'll get on to meal one before training. Oh, it's not a better start of the day. Right, it's about midday now. It usually wouldn't be this late, but this is a pre workout meal. So, I've done loads of work. Obviously, I had the caffeine this morning and hydrated myself with lots of water. Now, we've got We've got protein oats. So we've got protein powder in here. We've got 40 grams of oats. We've got some frozen berries. And we've also got 20 grams of dark chocolate. So I'm going to get this down me, then go and train. And then we'll have the post-workout meal afterwards. New song. Not RD this time. It is Sam Tompkins, Lose It All. Just come out today. Honestly, a banger. Right, pre-workout consumed, porridge has gone in. Now I'm going to train pull, so I'm absolutely gas for it. Bang pull out, and then I'm gonna come back and you'll see the post-workout meal. So let's go and train. Right, gym done, trim acquired as well. Come then, seems to always, I always film a full day of eating on a Thursday and I get a trim. What a day. Come on then, right, so we're gonna go in now, we're gonna have the post-workout meal, which is unbelievable, so let's go for it. Right, session done, I've now got the post-workout meal. So, depending on where I was in virtue prep, I would sometimes have porridge, but when I'm on higher calories or a little bit higher, not stupid low, I would have cocoa pops. We've got 90 grams of cocoa pops here, and then we've got 100 grams of blueberries in there as well. And then what we're gonna do is put some protein in there. So we've got two scoops of Perform Whey in here, brownie batter flavor, absolutely unbelievable. Tip that in there, eat this, watch some YouTube, chill, and then I'll get on with the work block before my next meal. Right, a lot of work has been done. And now, we've got meal free. Is this meal free? It is meal free. Right, so, what we've got here is simple basmati rice, just a microwave pack. I use these just because they're easy, they're quick. Whack it in, two minutes, done. Slip on the plate, easy. 250 grams of that, so a whole pack, so it's a good day. <laughs> and then we've got, I'll, chop, I'll slice this up, so it's easier to cook, usually. And we're gonna have 200 grams of this. Okay, so 200 grams, just chicken breast. Plain. I will season it with whatever seasoning we've got. So usually maybe a bit of Cajun seasoning, a little bit of that. Obviously won't track it. It's literally minimal calories. Um, so yeah, chicken, rice, and then I'll cook some mixed veg. Again, use frozen veg. It's quick. It's easy. So yeah, let's get this meal made. Right, side note. This air fryer is a lifesaver. Like literally, I'm whacking it in here. It takes 15 minutes in the air fryer, some chicken breast, but... Whack it in there, simple as I can get some work done. I used to fry it all the time and it's just long. So chicken in the air fryer, rice in the microwave, and then I'll put the veg in the microwave too. So yeah, easy as that. Unbelievable meal here. We have got obviously the rice, the full pack. We've got 200 grams of chicken, and then we've also got 100 grams of mixed veg, just frozen, nice and easy. So, gonna dig into this now. This is this is one of my favourite meals, you know. I know it's standard, I know it's boring, but it tastes blooming good. And I've got a little bit, as you've seen, a little bit of low sugar ketchup on there. Minimal calories, makes the taste unreal, and also I've got a little bit of salt on here as well. So, dig into this. Watch a bit of YouTube. Let's go for it. Right, meal four. Possibly my most favourite meal, to be honest. Oh, I was going to keep it a secret. 
But you know what? Steak, sweet potato, and then mixed veg. So very, very standard. Very, you might think, boring. But on a first shoot prep diet, when you're deep into it, when you are getting a little bit hungry, something like steak and sweet potato is just so flavoursome and just tastes unbelievable. So I'm going to get making it now. Obviously very simple. Fry up the steak so it tastes unreal. A little bit of sauce for the steak too. And then I'm going to microwave actually the sweet potato just because they're easy. Either microwave or, um, what's it called? The air fryer. Um, and then obviously microwave the veg as well. So yeah, very easy, very quick as you see most of my meals are just so I can get more work done in the day. In the day. Um, and then yeah, see how it looks. <laughs> I won't make it easy for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break you easily But I'm worth it I'll slip into your dreams Alright, here we go. Meal three is served. We've got steak. Just one fillet of steak. Easy peasy. We've got the veg, about 100 grams. And then we have got 300 grams of... I said sweet potato. What a joke. Amateur error, honestly. If I was actually deep into a first shoot prep, which obviously I'm not right now, but I'm just showing you what I would eat on a first shoot prep, I would have it all, pre all, all prepped and make sure it's here, okay? I said sweet potato, we usually do have it, but we didn't. So this is white potato, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna have the same effect, as long as the carbohydrates are the same, we're all good. So we've got 300 grams of white potato here, um, we've got the steak, we've got the veg, I'm gonna dig into this, enjoy it, and we've got one little snack to go later on. busy day it has been honestly so much work for that like, i haven't filmed loads so i apologize but you know what it's a full day of eating and you've seen all the food so you've got to be happy haven't you what we've got here is last meal of the day sometimes i've had this pretty late sometimes it'd be dark obviously it's not right now um it just depends on my day to be honest with you but i try and not not really eat after like 7 8 p.m if i don't have to um because i just feel, I feel like i get a bit of sleep when i don't so we've got a bagel with peanut butter on very, very simple. As you saw as well, come on then, squeezy peanut butter. Well easier than scooping it out, obviously, like, like a normal person would do. <laughs> but the squirt you want, honestly, game changer. But yeah, we got about 15 grams of peanut butter on here, smooth, just prefer it. And then we got uh, a bagel, actually already sliced as well from Warburton, so God, saving time all around. So this is the last meal of the day, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna enjoy this, and then I'm gonna get off the bed. So thank you so, so much for watching the video. If you like the video, and you like me, and you like what I'm doing here, Please make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next Sunday in the next video which possibly may be another full day of eating because people are loving them. So yeah, see you in the next video.